would like to express my warmest appreciation to UNICEF for this very imperative and timely initiative. I take this opportunity to also thank the country representative, Dr. Munir, and his very talented country of his team for the tireless efforts put in to make this happen. And also for the close collaboration with Ministry of Health with continued support and assistance. Since the cholera outbreak in 1978, UNICEF has been here in the Maldives providing guidance, assistance, and support in the public health areas, especially in maternal and child health, reproductive health, and immunization. The result we see today is decreased maternal mortality rate or neonatal mortality rate or the high coverage of vaccination are due to dedicated contribution by partners like UNICEF. I would like to note that UNICEF has been working with us hand to hand in our efforts to respond and manage COVID-19. I appreciate and support and support I appreciate the support received from UNICEF for the risk communication and in creating awareness in the community. One of the key priorities of the government is to strengthen the atoll health facilities with adequate number of ICU facilities, testing facilities, and PPEs. Today's donation of PPE items is very timely and will help us further strengthen and equip atoll health facilities to manage COVID-19. Since the beginning of the pandemic, my brother, Dr. Munir, has been emphasizing me on the importance of continuing continuing essential health services. I am assured that with today's donation, our total health facilities will be better equipped, assuring the protection and safety of our healthcare workers to continue the essential health services in the tolls. We are in the process of refocusing and rearranging essential health services in the country. We will need support from our partners more than ever. I am confident that UNICEF will play a key role in this endeavor. UNICEF has been one of the key partners of health sector, providing technical, financial, and in-kind support through the agreed work plan and other means. The assistance provided in procurement of vaccines and to continue public health programs such as nutrition and child health are worth noting. Let me take this opportunity to thank United Nations and the resident coordinator of Mrs. Catherine Hospital for the countless support provided to the Maldives through its specialized agencies. Once again, my appreciation to Dr. Munir and his team for the continued support and assistance to build and strengthen the health sector of the Maldives. I thank you. Thank you, Minister. Now I would like to request UNICEF country representative for his, for his remarks. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulullah. Honorable Minister Abdullah Amin, Honorable President Coordinator of the UF system in the Maldives, Ms. Catherine Hatzor, State Ministers, Senior Officials, Colleagues and Friends, Salaam alaikum wa rahmatullah. It's a great pleasure for me to meet with all of you here as part of the ceremony we are holding for the handover of the PPE supplies and water supplies UNICEF has brought into the country and started the handover process already close to midnight, ending up at 4.30 in the morning. And I would like to take the opportunity here to thank all of those colleagues, all of those friends who stayed at the airport until 4.30 in the morning, clearing the supplies and bringing them to the warehouse of the uh, Ministry of Health. Our partnership in UNICEF with the Ministry of Health is the longest in the Maldives, and it's the partnership for which we take the highest price. We are very proud of this partnership, and it's a partnership, as Honorable Minister just mentioned, has produced tremendous significant report, uh, uh, results for children. The significant reduction in child morbidity and mortality in this country is part of the uh, achievements of the Ministry of Health that UNICEF has contributed to, to, and we feel very proud to be associated with all other achievements in health, in nutrition, and in their uh, expansion of essential services to every child, 
in the way in the Maldives. <coughs> COVID has disrupted the life of every human being around the globe. And when we look back at some of the very, I would say, um, projections of the possible rate of infection, possible rate of death in the Maldives, which was circulated in the social media at the beginning of the pandemic, we were worried that the Maldives would witness an unprecedented number of infection cases and the death toll, according to some uh, estimations, would have reached 10,000. But thank you, Minister Abdullah and the government for the political commitment and for the very high professional leadership to deal with the pandemic and to avert which could have been a possible human crisis that could have taken toll of the society. We look now at the number of infection cases, around 3,000 cases, and we look at the number of deaths, which is quite small, though very uh, much regretted. But I think this situation could have been much worse, if not of the decisive decisions from the political leadership of the government and the professional leadership of the Ministry of Health and the other partners. We are very proud of what we have you have achieved and the PPE supplies, the watch supplies we are bringing today is only part of what is coming in the coming few days. We are expecting three more shipments to come. This is the first shipment which includes about 151,000 pieces of different items of PPEs are washed. The budget we have spent on this uh, shipment is close to 7 million rupee. And in addition to that, we were very happy to be able to provide close to 2 million rupee for the activities of the RCC. In the coming few days, we will hopefully receive from China an additional shipment which will include the ICU equipment that we have promised. We wish that the supplies uh, had arrived earlier, but the shortage of supplies globally and the unhealthy competition between some big actors globally has not allowed us to bring these supplies as early as we would have wished. And following the uh, arrival of the ICU uh, uh, supplies and equipment, we will also be delivering to you on behalf of the Asian Development Bank two shipments. One shipment of uh, ICU equipment from China and another shipment of more PPEs also hopefully will be coming from uh, Sri Lanka. So we are now celebrating the first delivery of four big shipments and I take pride of being uh, associated with the very good work our human service associated with the very good work you are doing in the Ministry of Health. And this is part of the UN commitment to you and to the country. And we promise that the journey we have started together almost 40 years ago will continue until we achieve the best quality of life and health for every child and every citizen in the Maldives. So thank you very much for giving us the opportunity to, to work with you and thank to all the highly professional members of the team you have in the ministry. We have been in contact with almost everyone day and night. They have been very helpful, very receptive, and we never got some sort of uh, uh, query like, why are you calling me close to midnight? So thank you all, thank you, uh, especially Ali, a very special thank to you. We have, I personally have bothered you with so many emails on calls, but you have been extra patient and very supportive. But thanks to the entire team, and we look forward to work uh, with you, uh, you know, in the coming years until we achieve what we all aspire for. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Rooney.